So thank you so much for doing this. I appreciate you talking about a movie and a series you've never watched because I'm annoying and I bug you to do this podcast. It's not a problem. It's kind of fun. You know, hey, I make commentary about things I've never seen all the time, so it doesn't make it less true, right? <laughs> I speak the truth because I am not biased. I haven't even watched it. <laughs> <laughs> no, saying you refuse to watch something because you know it's gonna be just that bad, uh, you know, it's pretty much yeah. It's, you, know, it's, it's, you know, there are there, you know, I have seen movies that I didn't really want to see, but I was like, well, I know it's gonna be bad. I might as well just see how bad. And yeah, that was the Daredevil movie. And uh, yeah, but I can't bring myself to even watch Twilight because it's just. Like, why? Is it because they sparkle? It's because they sparkle, right? You are anti-sparkle. Oh, God, yes, I'm anti-sparkle. For vampires? Hell, you don't sparkle. Well, I just want to point out, they're also vegetarian vampires. What? That's what they call themselves, because they don't eat humans. They only drink animal blood. So okay. They, yeah. That's not a vegetarian. They really need to learn definitions a little more. Well, it's supposed to be an inside joke among themselves that they are considered vegetarian by vampire standards. Oh my god. Well, you know, they could just say that they're alternative. Oh, well, know, then they'd be gay Lord. vampires. What? <laughs> I have an alternative lifestyle? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just going. Okay, they never said that. I'm just saying by the book lo logic, that would be. Oh, I, I hear you. Oh my god. That's sad. That that's what they would consider an alternative lifestyle for a vampire. I don't know. Okay. I'm just guessing. I'm just guessing. I don't know. They, they don't even have the right to call themselves vampires. I would also like to point out that they all have magical powers, every single one of them. Such as? Well, Edward can read minds. Okay. And uh, they have one vampire, Alice, who can tell the future. Okay. Then they have another vampire, uh, Jasper, who can control people's emotions. Steal from Anne Rice much? And, <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> and then there's another vampire uh, that she can, like, cause psychic pain to others. Okay. And then there's another one who can, like, uh, uh, what do you call that, numb the senses out of everyone, like, create, oh, like, makes you feel like you're walking in fog so you can't see uh, the attack coming to you. Okay. So, yeah, there's, like those magical power stuff kind of thing. Oh, lovely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. And then, um, what was the other thing that I forgot to tell you? Oh, yeah. And also in this lovely, lovely Twilight vampire world, they also have werewolves. Mm -hmm. that, that I got from the, uh, at the you know, trailers. And that uh, Bella also gets prophetic dreams. Because? Just because she's that damn special. And boring. <laughs> it's like, let's find the most boring human on the planet and let's give her abilities too. Okay. It turns out she was always meant to be a vampire. Yeah, she was boring. <laughs> okay. You can be boring in your little human life and you can be boring for all eternity. No, no. <laughs> Make her useless even more <laughs> for eternity. Right. I would just like to. Rem I just love the part that you when I tried telling you about Twilight before. You're like, why is he hanging out with high school students? Yes. <laughs> Creeper. <laughs> well, he looks seventeen. So. So you're you're never gonna give Twilight a chance. Like no even curiosity to oh. see if it's as bad as you oh god no i don't need to i actually don't need to watch it to know it's that bad i already know it's that bad i want to point out for this podcast review like how such a good reviewer i am i rewatched all of the movies you wow that's torture 
And then I read the books again. Oh my god. And even the little novella that went with it. How do you still have fingernails? <laughs> my god, I would think you would have pulled them off by now. <laughs> there was nothing to do with that. There was drinking involved. Ah, uh, okay. That makes some sense. Then. So I think I deserve at least a cookie as a reward. Oh, you totally deserve Sundays. <laughs> you know, maybe a state. So since you're like boycotting all things Twilight, are you going to listen to the review? Sure. <laughs> That's one. <laughs> oh, plus my mom, because she's insanely supportive. <laughs>